Several U.S. service members were injured in a Christmas Day drone attack, one of them critically. This is the latest attack on U.S. personnel in the Middle East since the start of the Israel-Hamas war. President Biden leaving the White House to spend Christmas at Camp David, but his Christmas turned into a working holiday. The Pentagon says on Christmas Day, the Iranian-backed militia group Kataib Hezbollah launched a drone attack against coalition forces in northern Iraq, wounding three U.S. troops, one critically. The president, in response, ordered airstrikes against the group and others affiliated with Iran. In a statement, the White House said the president places no higher priority than the protection of American personnel serving in harm's way. The United States will act at a time and in a manner of our choosing should these attacks continue. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin echoed that sentiment and added, while we do not seek to escalate conflict in the region, we are committed and fully prepared to take further necessary measures to protect our people and our facilities. This adds to the growing list of more than 100 attacks on U.S. forces since October 17th, just days after Hamas attacked Israel. The White House has criticized Iran for its support of Hamas and Yemen's Houthi rebels, the group responsible for attacks on ships in the Red Sea. Some lawmakers, though, think a stronger message from the United States needs to be sent. What we've seen is put two aircraft carrier strike groups into the region. That's a massive show of military force. But we've been highly inconsistent in terms of the way we deal with Iran from an economic standpoint and from a diplomatic standpoint. U.S. Central Command says the airstrikes destroyed several facilities used by the group and likely killed a number of militants. In Washington, David Spun, Fox News.